Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Sergio. Let me tell you that it is raining. Raining cats and dogs. What about in your place? Is it, is it raining? No, um, no, no, here. It is raining hard. I hope I won't have problem with internet because when it rains, uh, we usually have problems with the signal, but right now it's okay. All, all right, so let's see if we can start. It's very cloudy. Cloudy, My though. Oh, but here it's raining. Well, maybe it will rain later. Tipo no evasion. All right, right. Hello, class. Good evening. I hope you're fine. I hope you're doing good. Let me tell you that it is raining. It's going to be a really cool night with a very fresh atmosphere, climate, weather. I think it's coming down right now. Well, yesterday we were um, about to work in this activity, activity number seven. And I need you to role play a two minute conversation introducing yourself and the staff to someone else at a business event. Oh, teacher, how are we going to do? Okay, we're going to create, create the groups, all right? So one of you is going to introduce your team to me, okay? Um, because it says introducing yourself and staff, okay, the members, of your group are going to be like the manager, the safety uh, or the engineer or et cetera, okay? And um, you're gonna take turns asking and answering questions like the one in the model conversation. What was the model conversation? this one, okay? Or one in the group is going to be someone new and you're gonna say, hello, good evening. Uh, are you Mr. So I don't know, Mr. X? Uh, okay, you're gonna <coughs> introduce yourself and you're gonna introduce your partners, understand? Understand the activity? No, 
Yes or no? Francisco, Vanessa, Kimberly, Carla, Maria Fernanda, Walter, Jenny, Merari, Adriana, and Diana. Do you understand the, the activity? <coughs> Sorry. This is the activity. Um, sorry. <coughs> um, hello. I haven't made it a teacher yet. No, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. I'm, I'm asking you if you understand the activity. You're going to work in groups, okay? And you're going to create okay. You're going to create a conversation. Check your WhatsApp, please. Everybody check your WhatsApp. Are you checking your WhatsApp? Everybody understand? Hey, I'm asking you, class, I'm, a, I'm asking you, nobody answers. Sergio, do you understand the activity? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, thank you. Francisco, do you understand the activity? So oh, Francisco is going to be, uh, let me see. No, that was Fernando. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't, Vanessa, do you understand the activity? Yo la empecé a hacer, pero la dejé a la mitad. Okay, Vanessa, no, wait, 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 this is in group. The activity uh -huh, uh -huh. is, is a, oh, okay, okay, so you understand, okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos, do you understand the activity? Ahorita voy de oyente porque voy manejando. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Carla, do you understand the activity? Lo que yo entiendo, teacher, es que vamos a hacer como una conversación. Ah, ¿verdad? yeah, yes, en grupo. Okay, yeah, thank you. Sí. Okay, uh, me voy a permitir, me van a regañar mis jefes, pero Estoy preguntando si comprenden la actividad y nadie responde. Yo pensé que estaba pidiendo ya la actividad, pero todavía me hacía, una, un par, pero, me ¿sí? hacía falta una parte, por eso okay. no había contestado. Wait, wait, so, wait. But listen, if I say, do you understand the activity? Estoy preguntando, ¿comprenden ustedes la actividad? Yes, sí. Ok. Let's go, yes. let's go in group porque la actividad no es, no es individual. Tienen que ponerse de acuerdo. Ok, si no cada quien va a llevar una, una, una y el otro otra conversación, no, no. Es una sola. Luego la van a, la van a desarrollar para la clase. Ok. Okay. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's work. You're going to have six minutes or a little more, okay?
Yo estaba en un equipo, pero me sacó por la señal porque acá está lloviendo. I know it is raining too. Let me check. ¿En qué team okay. estaba? ¿En qué team estaba? Tres. Three, ok. Sí. Good.
Okay, now let's see what do you have? Let me see what do you have, group number one. ¿A dónde va? ¿A dónde va tú? Please, group number one, model your conversation. Teacher, ¿cuál es el grupo uno? Ah. Oh. Good question. <laughs> okay. Number one, we have Flor de Maria, JC, Sergio, Vanessa, and Walter. Um, decimos este, la conversación. Si yes, yo... yes. Yeah, model, model the conversation, please. Okay, Vanessa. Empezamos. Sergio no está por ahí. Sergio, no sé. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. okay. Um, Hello. Eh, nosotros estamos en el día, así que ni modo. Hello, good morning. Are you Mr. Sergio? Yes, I am. Mm, I am Vanessa. Um, I am a... Feliz, ¿Cómo se dice? Fel, facilitado. Trainer. Fa, yo le puse yes. diferente. Facilitator uh -huh. of this training. Facilitator <clears throat> of this training. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you. She is Flor, my supervisor in my company, Atlantida Bank. Nice to meet you, Vanessa. Eh, welcome. Eh, nosotros le vamos a poner a, a, a no, una capacitación de Insafor. No, así no, que... no, no, no español, please. Oh, <laughs> just, just, dígalo, just, just the conversation. Only the conversation. Okay, T uh, Vanessa. Welcome to drinking. Welcome to training. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. We are ready. Thank you. Finish, teacher. Finish. All finish. right. All right. Finish. Thank you, thank you, thank you, okay? Don't be shy, don't be pena, speak, speak, and speak, okay? Practice. If you make mistakes, don't worry, okay? Don't worry, just continue. Continue, okay? This is a training, all right? This is your English zone. Esta es su zona de inglés. Practique. Si hay, si hay uh, um, errores, no se preocupe. Ok, don't worry. Just practice, ok? Come on. Cheer up. Anímense. Ok, group number two. Congratulations. It's, it was a good conversation. Group number two. Ah, also, in a conversation in English, don't use Spanish. This is for everybody, ok? For everybody in the group. For all the class, ok? Now, number two. I have... Francisco, Teacher, we're not done. Excuse me. You're ready. We're not done. Oh my goodness. Um, Hagámoslo a lo que hasta donde llegamos. Ah, okay, okay. Good. Sí, no terminamos, oh, I'm sorry. Hello, good evening. Are you Carla Nayeli? 
Hello, good evening. Yes, I am. I'm Miss Jenny, I'm manager. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you, Mr. Jenny. I introduce you to my work team. He is Kimberly, he is secretary. He is Francisco the counter. Welcome, nice to meet you. Uh, I am the contable of the Ironman company. My purpose is the shadow payment to the other worker. Nice to meet you, uh, Miss Mr. Francisco. Nice to meet you. I am a secretary. All right. Finish teacher. Finish teacher. Yeah, finish. That, that, was, that, was, that was a good uh, a good a good beginning of a conversation. That was that's what I want. Okay, but next time, hurry up. I give you 10 minutes. But it's okay, all right? Next, next group. I have uh, Adriana, Diana, and Jacqueline. Hi. Hello. Hello. Adriana. Hello, Diana. Verdad que yo iba en su grupo porque el teacher no me mencionó. Sí. Okay. Vamos. Démosle. Uh, hello. Good morning. Are you? Mr. Dachana? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, what uh, I am looking for a tint. Uh, what color of tint do you want? Um, my preferred color black or blue. I have blue. Okay, uh, two team, please. Okay, come with me and I show you the size and model. Uh, my size is uh, nine and ten. Okay, I have. Okay, Diana. Diana, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, okay thank Teacher you. Is my home. I thank you. Thank, thanks, everybody. Everybody made a good job okay remember we are practicing we are learning okay now i'm gonna tell you just like the observation okay when we say uh a title ¿se recuerdan cómo son los, son los títulos? the titles for people yes uh, what are the titles Mr. Um, Mr. Um, Mrs. Ah, okay. Mr. We, got, Mrs. we got Mr. Okay, I'm gonna write on the on the we got Mr. Mr. is for men, right? 
Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Single or married? Yeah. Yeah. Mystery for single or married men. Yeah. So Sergio is a mister. I'm a mister. Juan Carlos is a mister. Walter is a mister. Francisco is a mister. Okay. Yep. Okay. Then we have for Senorita. Yeah. Single ladies. For single ladies, we have a uh, wait, wait, but but what I'm gonna say something else. Okay, I'm Mr. Martinez. All right. And Sergio is Mr. Leiva. This is basic. Yeah. Esto es básico. You have to know this, okay? For me, it's, it's for single ladies. Yep. Vanessa, are you single? Are you single or married? Vanessa, are you single or married? Married. Oh, okay. You're not, you're, you're not my example. Kimberly, are you single or married? Single. Single, okay. So yes. Kimber, Kimberly is Miss, Miss Miranda, okay? She is single, all right? Then we have, uh, I don't know if Merari or Jenny are married. I'm going to use Miss. Miss. Cuando no sabes si es casada o soltera, usas el Miss. All right. So you're going to say Miss Velasquez. Because you don't know. But you want to refer to address to that people with respect. Okay, okay, you don't know, you say, good morning, good afternoon, miss, excuse me, miss, yeah, it's different from, from the other miss. Ah, teacher, igual la diferencia. When I say miss, la señorita is with S, miss, and the other miss, like this MS is miss, with a Z, with una Z, right? But when you are sure if the lady is married, you use Mrs. like Mrs. Valladares or Valladares. All right? Because she's married. Uh, Jacqueline is married too. Yeah? Uh, Vanessa is married too. So she's Miss, Mrs. Santos. All right? Okay, teacher, ¿y por qué nos está enseñando esto? Because when in your conversation, you say Mr. Sergio. Because you say Mr. o oh, Miss, Miss, o oh, Mr. Yolanda. Hey, what's up? Usemos los títulos. Los títulos se usan solamente con apellidos. Okay. Solo con apellidos. No, no con el nombre. Si va a decir el nombre, diga el apellido también. Como me pusieron un ejemplo aquí. Miss Diana Ramirez. That is okay. Comprendido. Yeah, that is okay. But not Miss Diana. Uh -uh. Our culture is different from the United, from the gringos culture. If you notice in the schools here, aquí si le dicen, señorita Lupita. Okay. Señorita Jennifer. Pero esa es nuestra cultura. In the States or in other countries, they, they speak English. They don't say your name with a title. They say your name with a last name. Yeah. ¿Qué es el last name? Apellido. All right. 
Now comprende? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Mister, eh, cuando no, no single ni, ni Mary dijo. Así es. Ambos, Nos, ambos. No, para ah. nosotros los hombres es Mister. Sea que esté libre de deudas o con muchas deudas. Oh. <laughs> How do you say um, Marie? Married. 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 Pero solo cu pero cuando está refiriéndose a una persona casada, por ejemplo, Sergio dice, eh, she's flor, eh, o cómo, cómo tiene que decir. Ah, que si flor está señora. casada. Ah, a uh, Mrs. She's a, she's a, uh, flor is a Mrs. A Mrs. Ajá, es una señora. Y el Mrs. es el título para una señora, para una mujer casada. Mrs. This is Mrs. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Uh, no, she's a Mrs. Or this is a... Pero si this is a Mrs. Or mejor de, decimos she's married. She's married. She's married. Uh -huh. Ella está casada. Ajá, pero cuando no quiere ser referencia de que es casada, entonces solo la presenta. ¿Cómo oh, dice? Entonces, la this is Floor, my friend. This is Floor, she's my friend. No, pero no soy su amiga y eh, eh, me está... Es como decir señora Valladares, digamos. ¿Cómo dice? Oh, she's che, Miss Valladares. She's Miss... Miss, Miss. El, el otro donde sol, solo es MS, que es con Z. Miss. Miss. Ajá. Miss. Voy a escribir aquí abajo, ¿ok? When we say Miss, this is equal... Así, ve, Miss. That is, that is the pronunciation. But when I say miss, this is equal miss. See the difference? That is the pronunciation. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, teacher. All right. Thank you. All right. Okay, let's go back. Mr., Mrs., and Mistress. Let's go back to the slides. Nice, nice conversation. Let's continue here. Flor, please read the, the uh, slide, please. Read? Yeah, read. Okay. Describe past new working. Um, yes, yes. Also, teacher? Yes. Okay. Describe describe past new working experience in business event. Mm -hmm. Continue. What is uh -huh. What is networking? Are you good at network networking in business event? Do you often share business cards when you neighbor? All right. Let's explain it. Thank you, Laura. So You're after welcome. after this lesson, you will be able to, okay? Va a estar en la capacidad de describe past networking experiences in business events, okay? What is it? Uh, networking, una red de negocio, ¿verdad? Red, networking. All right, when you make contact with other companies, okay? Other people make business with other companies, okay? Okay, I make business with a restaurant. I make business with a shipping uh, company. I make business with a um, transportation company, okay? All the companies have uh, contact with other companies. Okay, that is the networking. All right, now we have, what is a networking? That's what it is. Yeah, 
una red. ¿Va? Of, of your company with other companies. Yeah, because what you need, you need um, support for your computers, you call a company. You need support for the maintenance, maintenance of the electricity, you call another company. Understand that? What is networking? Okay, now we have, are you good at networking in business event? Okay. This is like when the companies make a convention or make a, I don't know, a training and you are, you go and re represent your company with uh, one or two more partners and the other companies also attend that, uh, that seminar uh, or that training, okay? All right. And the last question is, do you often share business cards when you network? Do you know what is a business card? What is a business card? Es una tarjeta de presentación. Okay, that is your business card. But right now, people have their business card in your email. Yep. Electronic business card. Ahora sí se hacen también, ¿verdad? You're right out there. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, Miss Diana Elizabeth Ramirez, executive representative of the, uh, I don't know, uh, country chicken. Yeah. Con number, okay, se hace la tarjeta electrónica, right? Your, esa tarjeta de presentación. That is your business card too, okay? You can do it like in, uh, like physic, or physical, in paper, and you can do it electronic. But there's something that we need to do. We need to check the attendance. Okay, let's check the attendance. Veamos, dice Adriana Lisset Chávez. Question. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramírez. Question. Thank you. Flor de María Valladares. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras. Not here today. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Gemina Membreño. Ella tuvo un inconveniente, teacher. Creo oh, que no. Ok, Las... ok, ok. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. No? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Maria Fernanda Morán. Present. Thank you. Maria, uh, Merari Andrea Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Walter Amilcar Ramírez. Está de oyente, creo. Ok. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with our networking. Now we have a conversation over here. Another conversation, teacher. How many conversations? Now let's just listen to your teacher. 
listen to your beautiful teacher's voice. Read the conversation, then practice with a compañero. Let me see, I, I need to send a, a photo over here. Here we go. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Questions? Come on. Dear students, make questions. No, teacher. No? You understand no. everything? No. Okay. I guess everybody understands. But I, I need to practice. Okay, Jenny, let's practice. I'm going to be Luis. You're going to be Janet. Okay, teacher. All right. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I, I learned a lot. Tell me more. Uh, no puedo pronunciar esa palabra. Ah, okay, okay. We're gonna stop here, Jenny. Okay, we're gonna stop. Escuchen el audio, por favor. Listen to the audio. Listen to the audio. In, on WhatsApp. Exchange. Got it? Now, questions. Teacher, how Hello. do you say uh, awesome? Uh, awesome. Oh, oh. Awesome. Oh. Awesome. No, oh. Oh. Awesome. 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 Ah. Oh, awesome. No, la W no me la pronuncio. No. Is it problem? Awesome. Okay, that's the pro problem with uh, Latin people that que lo queremos leer como que fuera español. Ese no da problema, okay? Repita lo que escuche. Repeat what you listen, okay? Awesome. 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 Awesome means fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Fantastic. Awesome is like saying fantastic. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Es lo mismo. Es decir, asombroso, maravilloso, fantastic. Okay. Wonderful. 
Pero ya oh. ahí se ocuparía, teacher, como un complemento para darle como el significado. Es, es una expresión. Es una expresión. Ah. Es una expresión cuando alguien te invita, te dice, hey, uh, uh, let's, let's go to the movies and after that uh, we're going to eat pizza. Awesome. Fantastic. ¿Ya? Yeah? It's just an expression. All right. All right. Yeah, una, una reacción. Like in Spanish, when we say recorcholis, rayos. Yeah. Wow. It's like a wow. Yeah, wow. Awesome. Fantastic. Incredible. Fabulous. Okay. De ese tipo de palabras. Okay. Any other question? Okay, in this in this conversation, when I say yes, I did, I I learn. Okay, I'm gonna write here, learned. My friends, can you can you read that that word? Como leería aquí? How how can you read this? Learn. This 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 word. Learn. Learned. Practice, please. Learned. Learn. 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 Oh, this is the pronunciation for this word. Ok, no. va, usted ya sabe que hay verbos regulares y verbos irregulares. Yes or no? Sí o no? Yes. yes, teacher. ¿Qué tipo de verbo es este? Irregular. No. Es, regu es, regu es regular como usted. Es regular. Ok, regular. Porque solo se le añade e de verdad. Yes, yes. Pero estos verbos tienen tres casos de pronunciación. Uf, yeah. We have to study. Uh, we have to study a lot. Ok. Learn. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. What about this one, este? I'm going to update it. Update it. Como lee ahí? How do you read this? Updated. 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 That, that is how you how you pronounce it. This is a close close uh, um, pronunciation. Okay, updated. All right. De nuevo tenemos aquí learned, and this one here is X X change. Change, change, change. Veamos si, si sale así. Can you read that? Exchange. Exchange. ¿Ya? Yeah? Got it? Oh, nos, nos, nos falta todavía una T. Exchange. Exchange. Okay, that's how we read it, all right? Now, let's practice. I'm going to practice with Adriana. Adriana is down here. It's working or what happened?
Hello. No tengo a Adriana. Okay, Kimberly. Okay. All right, I start. Did, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Very good. Tell me more. I I would I updated it. Mm -hmm. a skill I learned too much from a small to a smart talk. Okay. Aquí me dijo learned y aquí me dijo learned. Ah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> be careful, be careful. Okay. Great. So you did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged. 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 Exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Now let's go and practice in groups. Please try to correct the pronunciation, okay? Correct the pronunciation. It's important. Thank you, Floor. Yours is better. You're welcome, teacher. Let's do it.
So, what's awesome. up? That was awesome. <laughs> awesome. How was the conversation? Good. Better? Are you improving your, com your pronunciation? Okay, este es, un, este es un tip. When you, when you want to memorize the pronunciation of the word, escriba como la escucha. Escribala como la escucha. Okay? So every time you see the word and see the pronunciation, así dele, all right? Remember okay. that English is like two languages in one. Dicen que dos, dos, idiomas en uno va. Se escribe de una manera, se pronuncia de otra. All right? That have to, you have to memorize. Okay. Tiene que encontrar tips. All right. This is fair word. Choose the answer to the questions compared with a partner. Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did Janet update her networking skill? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Okay, all this information is in the conversation. Okay. So use the conversation to answer this activity. Ask what teacher? Answer. Oh, yeah. Oh, one more minute. And then we um, check the answer. Okay. okay.
Everybody finish? Everybody finish. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sergio, number one, did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. All right. Lord, thank you, Sergio. Okay. Did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did or no, she didn't? Yes, yes she did. Thank you. Did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? Yes, she did. Okay. Did Luis exchange business card with 10 people? Yes, he, he did. Yes, he did. Got it? Yes. Okay. You can check you can check your answers. Teacher. Hello. Um me parece que la cuatro, number four. Mm -hmm. is number not, four. Not he didn't. Uh -huh. Didn't. Uh, uh, Por qué? Janet. Janet. Ah. Uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. uh, Janet exchange. 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 Ah, it was it Janet, changed. not Louis. Yeah. Ah, so it was it was yeah. Janet. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Janet. Okay. Okay, that is reading and comprehension. Lectura comprensiva. All right, thank you. Awesome, Flor. <laughs> Excellent. You're, you're using the new vocabulary. Okay, let's continue. I needed to explain something about grammar. how to use simple past sentences and yes, no question, but we are going to study this before this chart. Let's go. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. First, we're going to study questions with did. Yeah, did. And yes, no questions. Okay. This is a uh, a question in past, okay? What is the past of do? Did. If I ask you, what did you do last weekend? What are you going to say? Oh, I went to the park in the morning. In the afternoon, I watched TV. And at night, I read a book, okay? ¿Qué pasó con los verbos? Todos los verbos en pasado. Okay, it is something uh, uh, that happened yesterday, last weekend, last month, last year. 
Okay. And this is the grammar pattern. What did you do last weekend? Okay, what do we have this? This is a question word. Remember, what are the question words? What? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. No, no. What are the question words? Son varias, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son? What's, what's, where, ah, who, what, where, who, who, who mm -hmm. how, how, why, what. Todas esas se llaman question words o WH words. ¿Por qué? Porque son las de que cuándo, cuál, dónde, qué, all right? Those are the question words, las que comienzan estas preguntas. The information questions in past. And this is the grammar part. I mean, ¿Qué después que va? Did. Did. Ok. Did. And did is for all the teacher. Pero yo recuerdo que en, en la otra, en the simple present, usamos do and does. Yeah. But that was simple present. Voy a explicar. Did. We use did. For all the, all the subjects. O sea, que yo puse our did with I, you, um, he, she, it, we, and they. Con todos estos puedo usarlo. No hay diferencia. Okay, there's no difference. We're going to use did with all the subjects. Okay, in past, when we're talking about the past, what happened yesterday, two weeks ago, one month ago, last vacation, pasado, right? Your past. Okay, now, then after did, that is the auxiliary verb, we're gonna, we're gonna write a subject. Y ahí caben todos estos, mire. I, uh, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Or the names of the people. What did your brother do last weekend? What did your brother and sister do last weekend? What did your friends do last weekend? Okay, ese es el sujeto, right? Okay, and then we have a complement. In the complement can be a time expression, okay? These are time, when we say last weekend is el fin de semana pasado, right? Okay, but what happened? Oh, teacher, pero we're talking about the past. Yes, we're talking about the past. And why do is in present? Oh, good question. Good question. Why do is... <laughs> Why do is in present? Porque la regla sí dice, cuando yo uso auxiliary verbs, el, the auxiliary verbs takes the action in past y el verbo principal no va a cambiar. Okay, the main, the main verb won't change. Understand? Yes? Okay. Let's write another example. Where did they um, go last Saturday? Look, the other example. Where did they go last Saturday? Um, oh, Sarah Phil. Can you see it? No. Okay, sorry. Y 
in now? Yes. Okay. Do you see the the order of the words? Yes. Okay. Where did they go last Saturday? No. They go to the park. Oh no. Ah. La, okay. That 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 is giving me an opportunity to teach you another thing. They went to the park. Teacher porque usa went. Porque la, la, la pregunta es en pasado. Ok. When es pasado, ¿verdad? When is the pass of go. Got okay. it? All right. Good. Well, now, I want you to write as a question in the chat only one question you can use what where why etc okay what escriba una pregunta write a question in pass and send it to the chat we have two minutes Excellent, Diana. Awesome. When do you do the exam? Continue, please. One more minute. Where do you have dinner today? It's better today. Thank you. I have only Diana and Sergio. Oh, good. Did you send an A? Hey, that's a good one, Flor. Did you send an email yesterday? What did they do? over the weekend okay vanessa why did she cook breakfast uh, okay no but i guess yolanda you want to say um, 
eh, eh, sería mejor. Why did she cook breakfast? Why es por qué. I guess you want to say, what did she cook for breakfast? ¿Qué? Sin, sin ID. Sin no, 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 no. El did siempre va a ir. Usted quizás quiso escribir qué cocinó de desayuno, ¿verdad? O porque ella está cocinando el desayuno. Ah, no, no cabe esa. Ella sería otro tipo de pregunta. ¿Por qué está cocinando? Está, eso, eso está diciendo, lo está diciendo en presente. Teacher, y explicó que el did es cuando no está el, el verbo to be. El verbo be no tiene nada que ver acá. No, no lo expliqué. El simple pero si past. Yo, pero si yo digo dónde estuve eh, ah. ayer, eh, I was. Eh, where was. Where, 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 where were you? Ajá, where were no tiene, el, el, aquí no tiene, no, ahorita no, no estamos con el verbi. Estamos hablando en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero no estamos con el verbi. Ahí sería otro tipo de pregunta. Ajá, no, yo le, le digo porque ahí nos podemos confundir. Ah, ok, sí, sí, pero no, no usen el verbi por el momento. Where did he, ah, ok, good. Where did you go? Good. How did you go? Uh, Carla, esta no es pregunta. They study for the exam. Ahí le falta. Did they study? Ok, solo falta el did. But the majority had understood. Buen punto, Sergio. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, vamos, Kimberly. El verbo no puede ir en pasado aquí. Where did you go? No. When did you go to the beach? Cuando uso el did, el verbo principal no cambia. ¿Ok? Solo en la respuesta se estaría, se estaría yes. pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, yes. You're right. Ok. Thanks for your participation. Let's continue. Good. Now. When I answer, where do you go last Saturday? Let's continue with here. El verbo sí va a ir en pasado. Okay. The verb is going to be in past. Where did you go last, last Saturday? Okay. They. Uh, voy a hacer otra pregunta. I'm going to write Let me see. Okay. When did you When did you, when did you, when did you? When did she? Mm. When did she? Okay, when did she clean her bedroom?
Okay, we can answer like this. She cleaned last month. You see? Oh, teacher, en la pregunta, verbo no cambia. In the affirmative sentence, uh, I mean, answer is in past. Okay? That's the difference. Check it. Mire. Okay. And this is different. See the difference? See how we work? Yes, teacher. All right. Okay. Now, I guess no question. Did you study for your exam? Yes. Yes, I did. Short answer. Okay, pero me pide que haga una short answer and then a long answer. Yes, I did. I started late at night. Hasta tarde, noche, o hasta la, hasta la noche, ¿verdad? Tarde, noche. Yes, I did, okay? I started late at night. Yeah, okay? Okay, I'm gonna say no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I don't... Uh, I didn't have time. No, I didn't. I didn't have much time here. Por eso no estudió. No, I didn't. I didn't have much time. Okay. Now understand the use of did. The questions, your answers. Yep. Yes. Okay, let's go. When did you go to the beach? What time is it? Oh, okay. Look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below. I learned a lot. I updated my networking skills. I exchanged business cards. Louis didn't attend at this. Uh, didn't attend the okay, una palabra de más. Louis didn't attend the seminar. Okay. Louis didn't exchange business card. We can say didn't attend a seminar or didn't attend the seminar. Okay. The simple past describe events. Use the verb in the ¿Cuál sería acá? ED, D form o base form. Mm -hmm. For positive sentences. Mm -hmm. ED. ED, ED, yes. ED or D form. Okay. For negative sentence, use don't or didn't. 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 All right. And the ED or D or base form of the verb. Base form. 
base. Good. Okay, let's go to the other side. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update her networking skills? Start. Yes, no questions about the past with do or did. 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 Next, add the subject or the verb. Subject. Subject. Okay. Followed by the ED or D form or base form. Base form. Base, base, yes. Base form. Okay, take note if you want. Finish? Yes. Okay, let's call the attendance for the last time. Okay, Adriana and Lisette Chavez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez. Present. Thank you. Lorde Maria Valladares. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quinteros. Present, teacher. Thank you. Yes, Osvaldo Deras. No. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Emina Membreño. Ah, no se todo. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Remember. Carla Nayeli Machado. Present. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda. Present. Thank you. Maria Fernanda Moran. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sanchez. Present. Sergio David Leiva. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilca Ramirez. Jenny Carolina Tobar. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Perez de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's continue. Next activity. On the next activity, you're going to complete the questions below using the verb in parentheses. Do you understand? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Similar of the activity okay. yesterday. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Now, then, exercise B, interview to classmate. Okay, when you finish, 
You're going to interview your partners in the group. You're going to take notes of their answers and combine short and long answer, okay? So first, complete the questions individually. Then we check it here, okay? Hagamos eso, let's do it. Did you finish?
Number two. Did you enjoy? Yes. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy the seminar? Okay. Uh, number three. Did you meet new people? Did you meet new people? Okay. Four. Did you learn something? Yeah. Did you learn? And learn is in, in present. Did you learn? Okay. Number five. Did they participate? Yeah. Mm. But the various network Sorry, my oh, mistake. Don't, okay, don't worry, but it's a good question too. They did participate. Don't worry, be happy. So it's, did they network? Okay, number six. Did did you exchange? Ah, did you exchange? Did you exchange business cards? Okay, now with these questions, you are going to go to the groups and ask your partners, okay? When you ask your partners, you are going to take note. Okay, uh, if, imagine that I ask uh, Sergio, did you enjoy the seminar? Sergio, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. Okay, we're going to write, yes, I did. The seminar. Period and a long I answer. Uh-huh. And a long answer. He's going to say, I... I did enjoy. No. Ya dijo, I did. Mm -hmm. I you like can, a lot. I like it. I I like this kind of seminars. Me gusta el tipo de este tipo de seminarios. Okay. 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 Got it. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Is it your enjoyment? The no, seminar. I enjoy enjoyment. Yes. No enjoyment. Mm -mm. Enjoyment. What does it mean? Enjoyment. Yo lo busqué en el traductor. Ah, enjoy. I enjoy, pero ya dije yes I did. Cuando digo yes I did, ahí estoy diciendo sí lo disfruté. But then you have to give extra information, okay? Good. Continue in the groups and take note of your partners.
what happened, Merari, Jacqueline, Walter, and Juan Carlos. What happened? You're having problem with Zoom? Teacher, I I start in the meeting with my uh, about the work. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, son actividades extracurriculares, entonces las reuniones las son programadas así. Also, oh, you're you're in a. You're doing something else. Yes. Okay.
Okay, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but class is over. We'll check these answers tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right, so have a nice rest. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. And you too. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. See you tomorrow. See, see, you see, tomorrow. You, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.